Hello guys and welcome back once again to The Edward. I am your host Eddie and in today's video I will be discussing my reaction to the big announcement that we finally have a title, a release date, and one confirmed star for the first Star Wars spin-off film. Well, let me start by saying yay! <laughs> Anything regarding the Star Wars franchise is usually, I consider it to be usually good news to me, and most of the time it is. Now, was I hesitant and kind of scared when I heard they were doing Episode 7? Yes, as is everybody. But at the same time, I'm like, well, wait, J.J. Abrams is doing it? Okay, I'll give it a shot. I loved what he did with Star Trek. And uh, I'm going to trust to know what he's doing with Star Wars because he himself has, is an admitted fanboy. And I think he knows what the fans truly want and really crave. You know, he's not going to be sticking just to CG. He's going to be using good old practical effects to honor the old traditional films. But anyway, this is about the... Uh, new spinoff, and that spinoff is called Rogue One. It is due to be released in theaters December 16th, 2016, to be directed by Gareth Edwards, who just recently directed the big hit film Godzilla, which was awesome. I loved Godzilla. Actually, I was surprised as to how much I loved it. It was a lot of fun. I liked it so much I asked for it for Christmas, and I got it. It's, it's a great movie. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll do another Godzilla film. Uh, recap some other time but anyway so he will be directing it and the only confirmed star so far is Felicity Jones and she was just most recently seen in the highly uh, polarized uh, film The Amazing Spider-Man 2 as Harry Osborn's assistant and she didn't have much of a role in that she was also rumored to be uh, Black Cat, the character Black Cat for Sony's originally planned Spider-Man universe but that, those plans are probably scrapped, but it's possible they may still be on the table, but it's highly unlikely. But besides Amazing Spider-Man 2, she was also recently in The Theory of Everything, the Stephen King movie, which was, I heard was great. I haven't seen it yet, but I know that guy won Best Actor for it, and I think she was nominated for Best Actress or Best Supporting Actress, but I heard she's great in it. So she's definitely doing very well for herself, but she is confirmed to star in it. Now, because the name of the film is Rogue One, Rogue One, as many of you know, is the name of a rebel X-Wing fighter. Now, which battles the the Rogue One was in, I'm sure if it survived, I'm sure it was in numerous battles. I myself am having trouble recalling of all the original uh, films uh, wh when it made appearances, but Rogue One is a definitely a very familiar name. Now, the question is, this spinoff... Is it supposed to be more of like a prequel spinoff? Because it's entirely possible, and keep in mind here, I'm just speculating, but it is entirely possible that this could, this story, this movie could happen during the original trilogy. You know, this could be, take place between episodes uh, four through six. You know, because I'm wondering if, is it, are we supposed to follow the story of how this young woman becomes a rebel fighter pilot for the rebel alliance or is she on a mission for the rebel alliance when she crash lands somewhere and she ends up on some world in some kind of conflict with two warring races of humans or aliens or what have you and she ends up joining one of them or fighting one of them who knows this is just purely speculation on my part i have no idea what the movie is about but a lot of people are hoping to see boba fett in it in fact <laughs> when i first heard the news i I mistakenly thought it was a Boba Fett spinoff, but I re remembered and I realized his ship is called Slave One, Slave One, not Rogue One. But it is rumored that he will make an appearance, so who knows. But uh, I'm curious, uh, the fact that Felicity, um, that uh, Felicity, now I'm blanking on her last name, but you know who I'm talking about. The fact that she will be appearing in this film as the star means that she's probably going to be the pilot of the X-Wing fighter. That is if it's Rogue One refers to an X-Wing fighter. There's another possibility that Rogue One could refer to a nickname given to a character or 
possibly a group of characters like the rogue ones or just rogue one it could be something else entirely but right now i'm just guessing that it's going to be centered on this young woman who becomes or already is an x-wing uh pilot for the rebel alliance and if not during the galactic civil war it's post galactic civil war meaning that this spin-off is going to be based off of the universe that star wars episode 7 will exist in that means that this is 30 years later han luke and leia are all uh aged and the most of and uh, han and uh, leia have children maybe luke does too so this must this film might take place during the original trilogy or might take place during the new one so who knows but I'm excited about it because director Gareth Edwards is directing it, and I loved Godzilla. I absolutely loved it, so I've got high hopes for him. I'm, I'm sure he knows what he's doing, and I think he's a Star Wars fanboy too. In fact, let's face it, most Hollywood directors and filmmakers nowadays are Star Wars fans. In fact, lots of people in Hollywood are people who become actors or art performing artists or any kind of artists at all are heavily influenced and inspired by Star Wars. It's just a known fact. And if you don't believe me, go out there and ask a few of them, but talk to them. They'll tell you. But anyway, um, I'm excited about it. And it's set to release one year after uh, Star Wars episode, episode seven. So this movie's due for December uh, 16th, 2016. So that means that it's probably written already and they just got to uh, finish casting it and then they can start filming it. So you know, the fact that they've got Felicity Jones as the star so far, I'm sure they're, they've got more people they're looking at right now, but she's the only star confirmed right now, but I'm sure we'll hear much more casting announcements as the year goes by as we get closer to its release date, but it's still got a ways to go. So in the meantime, let's just continue hoping, praying, and uh, hoping that the force is strong with J.J. Abrams and the cast and crew of Star Wars Episode, episode 7 and that they know what they're doing. And let's hope for a full-length trailer soon, too, huh? How about that? That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just kidding, JJ, if you ever see this. But I do have high hopes for you. I do trust you. So good luck to you. And as usual, guys, may the Force be with you.